guys, Ethan Way here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how, no joke, no clickbait, you can make millions of coins on Ultimate Team very easily with no risk whatsoever using one of the best trading methods on this game. Using some of the cards I'll show you in this video, you can make 10 times profit. That means if you spend around 100k on some of the players I show you, you can turn that into a million coins and it is so, so easy. So if you guys do enjoy, leave a like if you do. Let's try and smash 250 likes on this video. And if you guys are new around here as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's go on into the method. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to invest for League Score Builder Challenges and how to make a load of profit by doing so. I'll also be showing you a load of examples from the last two SBCs, which are the Kaosue and Emma. MLS, I'll show you some examples of players I picked up and made a load of profit with, just so you guys know exactly how well this method works. So for those of you who don't know, every month EA release two of these for different leagues around the world. We have a mix of major leagues like Liga and the KLCA. We will still have the Premier League, La Liga and Bundesliga still to come, as well as a lot of smaller leagues like the MLS, the Saudi League, the Championship, etc, etc. So in the future we can expect to see all those major leagues released, as well as leagues like the Belgian Pro League, uh, maybe the Argentine Argentinian League, maybe the Hyundai A League, the Japanese League, anything like that, we're likely to see SBCs released over the next couple of months. Now when these League SBCs are released, there are a lot of players that go up hugely in price, and these are mainly from some of the worst teams that are made up mainly of silver players. So for example, I'll show you guys Lille. Now if you look at their defenders, they are so, so expensive. Look at centre-backs from Lille. They're about 25,000 coins for the cheapest ones. And at one point, they were actually selling for 40k. They were extinct on the market until their price range was increased to about 50 or 60k. So this is just an example right here. And you could have actually got these cards for 200 coins just a couple of days before this SBC was released, which is absolutely crazy. Another example with Lille, just look, for example, at their wingers. They also go for a lot of coins. Just a random bronze player here going for like 5 or 6k. You've got silvers that go for an absolute ton who are actually nearly extinct. Um, you can see a couple of them here, for example, this guy. He's about 20,000 coins, and he is a non-rare silver. It's crazy. The sheer price is these cards set. And if you guys invest right, you can get cards for just a couple of hundred coins that you can sell in the future and make so much profit from. So these are some of my investments from the Calcio A SBC. That was released a couple of days ago. I picked up these cards probably about a month before the SBC came out, and I got all of these cards for between 300 and 150 coins. The rare cards, I paid around three or 400 coins for in some cases, but the non-rare silvers, pretty much all of them cost me 150 or 200 coins. So you guys can see the cheapest ones are going for just a couple of hundred, more maybe like six or 700 coins like these ones. But you can see cards like Lombardi, for example, I sold them for 5K and I got them for about 200 coins. That is so much profit. A lot of these cards I'm selling for about 1,000 coins. On average, I mean, you can see here, two more cards going for a lot of profit there. On average, I'd say that you're selling these cards for around 2,000 coins. If you average it out with some of the more expensive cards and cheaper ones, and considering you're getting these cards for 150 or 200 coins, that is huge amounts of profit on every single card. Literally, each card you sell on, you're making yourself at least 1.5K or so on average, and that's crazy. There are very few methods that allow you to make just that much profit from such a cheap investment. And that's not all. As you can see, I have a load more silvers in my club from the Kelsey Way, and I'll be selling these over the coming days. Every single one of these were picked up for around 300 coins or less, and they're all gonna be sold for around 1.5 to 2,000 coins on average, so all of these are gonna be making me a ton of profit. And another league SBC that was released at the same time was the MLS, and as you guys can see, I got a load of silver players. I believe in total, I got 15 pages of these. I'll be selling all of them in the near future, but you can see just as, a, as an example right here, Romando, Going for 250 coins, he's going for around about 2,000. So that's a really good amount of profit I can make there. Let's just go with someone else like Callens. What's he going for? Going for 200. He's going for about 1.9 to 2K. That's another load of coins I'm making on him. More, I got him for 200 coins, exactly the same. And he's going for about 2,000 coins. So that's some very, very easy profit there. Let's go with someone like Calvo, for example. You'll see on the whole, the expensive players are defenders and wingers. They're always the ones that go up the most. Uh, just because they're normally a little bit rarer. And Gua, what's he going for? Oh my god, he's, he's a ton. He's like 2,000 coins. Yeah, 2k. Just like those last few. Got him again for 200. And as you can see, I just have pages and pages. Let's just check a few more. Just so you can see. What's this guy going for? 
like 2,000 coins, about, yeah, about 2k again, got over 200 coins. You guys get the idea, it's so, so easy to make massive amounts of profit. On average, you're selling cards for about 1.5 to 2k, and you can get them so cheaply, but I'm sure now you're all now wondering, which cards should you buy to be able to do this in the future for more league SBCs? And that's what I'll show you guys right now. So I'd recommend focusing on some of the worst teams in major leagues as they're made up of a lot of silver players. For example, if we go to the Premier League, obviously Arsenal players and maybe like Man City, Man United, all those teams, they've pretty much just got a full gold team and they're not going to rise up too much. But if you look at a team, for example, like Brighton, they don't have many gold cards. So I've picked up some silvers pretty cheaply here and they could rise up significantly in value. You want to look at some of those worst teams that are just made up of a lot of silvers just because they got more. So Burnley is another example. Look especially in positions where there aren't too many other options. For example, you saw some of the players earlier on from, I'm not sure which team it was in Ligue 1, uh, but they went up massively to about 25k or so. And that's because they only had three centre-backs and you needed three centre-backs for the team. So they went up massively. So make sure to keep an eye out. If you see, for example, there's a team that only have one left back, pick that left back up as they could make you a lot of coins as they're going to be very, very rare. But if you look, for example, in a major league like the Premier League or maybe La Liga, just look for teams that don't have too many good players, so too many goals. You're looking mainly for silver cards, so the newly promoted teams are always good ones. If we go with the Bundesliga, that means teams like Augsburg, as they don't have many goal cards. Also, potentially teams like Freiburg, they don't have many either. I've yet to pick up investments from the majority of these leagues here, but I will be in the near future. Just look for some of the teams that don't have too many gold cards, and that's going to be where you can make the most profit, as they always rise up the most in value. Looking at La Liga again, look at those teams that uh, have just been maybe newly promoted, that don't have too many gold cards at all. So CD Lecanes, for example, they have tons and tons of silver cards. They all rise up a lot in price. Alaves, they have very, very few gold cards or even silver cards so they'll probably have bronzes rise in value obviously teams like Barcelona Real Madrid they don't have silvers they're not really going to go up with Getafe it's another team they have a lot of silver players they don't have too many gold a Girona that's yet another example make investments from these sort of teams that just don't have many gold cards as these silvers are going to be rare and they'll rise up a lot more in price now, as well as focusing on investments from smaller teams in major leagues you can also make a lot of coins by investing from some of the smaller leagues around the world so for example the Scottish Premiership that that's a league that doesn't have many gold cards. You've got so many silvers and these will all rise up a lot in price and you can get them so, so cheaply. You can literally just set your filter on the market to 150 coins maximum price and silver from, for example, the Scottish League. Go through mass bid on these cards, store them in your club and they'll rise in value for an SBC. And you can actually just complete pretty much a full team from each of the individual teams from all these leagues. So, for example, that's what I did with the league. I completed every team for around 70 or 80,000 coins. Right now, if you wanted to complete it, it's about three or 400k. And I just submitted it as soon as it came out. And I ended up selling any cards I didn't use. And I actually made a lot of profit from the league on SBC, especially after I got the packs and coins back. And also, obviously, got SBC Cavani. So if you want to complete leagues very cheaply, it's a very good thing to do. The Pro League is another one. I think we're definitely going to see an SBC for this in the near future. And you can get so many cards here. Centre-backs, left and right backs, and wingers always got the most in value. So always pick up a ton of those. You can invest, for example, if you find a team where there's only one silver left back, for example. Get a ton of that player. Store them in your club and on your transfer list and make a lot of profit from doing that. That. The Primera Division is another one we could see. There's actually 30 teams in this league, so loads and loads of investments to make there. Uh, the Japanese League, we saw that last year, could potentially see it again. There's some good players in here that you can get up, and uh, you can get them just so, so cheaply for like 150, 200 coins or so. Liga de Mayor is another one we could potentially see, so take a look at some investments there. You can pick up a couple. The K League, we could potentially see, so get some investments there. I don't think we're going to see uh, SBCs, maybe the Air Tristy League or the Ukrainian League, just because they don't have enough good players or they don't have enough teams. You need at least kind of 10 or 12 teams. The Hyundai League, though, is another one we could have. Don't think we'll have the Greek League, any of these leagues down here. And I think we're guaranteed to have La Liga, Bundesliga, and also the Premier League. So you can get some good investments from all of those. But there we go. Those are the cards I've picked up and will make me a ton of profit in the future. I've still yet to go and get investments from some of the other leagues like the Scottish League, but the Pro League I'm covered now. And over time, I just go through and pick up a load of cards. I'll show you guys right now over on the transfer market exactly what to do. Just head over and you just want to look for silver cards just like this. And then you can go to just whatever league you want really. So let's go with the Scottish Premiership, for example. Max price 150 coins. And just go through and bid on cards like this. And then you can just store them all in your club. It's so, so easy. 
and you just have to wait till an SBC comes out, sell them on, and make yourself a ton of coins. It really is as simple as that. You've seen how much these cards sell for. You can sell them on average for around 1.5 to 2k, and if you guys spend just 100k on investment, store them in your club, you can make a million coins. It is as simple as that. So if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.